Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's Saturday. Got a lot going on today. There's football games, there's race weekend, there's Labor Day weekend. Um, I'm going out of town tomorrow. But I wanted to make this video today just to kind of talk to you guys about um, the hurricane situation. And, you know, there's been a lot on the news recently with what's going down and what's going on down in Texas with Hurricane Harvey. There is just complete devastation down in Texas, guys. People are still underwater. They are still having to rescue people by boats. And this is well over a week later since the storm hit. Um, last October, we were hit here by Hurricane Matthew. And while it was not as dire of a situation as it is in Texas right now, we were not underwater. There was some flooding along the coast, and then I think North Carolina got a ton of flooding. Um, but we were hit by Hurricane Matthew in October. We lost power for a week. Um, we had no power. We had no water. For a few days, we could not even leave the house because there were so many trees down, and there were just not enough people available to cut the trees and get them off the roads. They were going as quickly as they could, but they... It, it was a few days before we could even go anywhere. And honestly, the worst part is that nobody thought that it was going to be as bad as it was here because we are inland. Um, but it was very, very bad. And a lot of people were just not prepared for what happened. For Because they didn't really know what was going to happen, honestly. they uh, Nikki Haley did a really good job. When she knew the hurricane was coming, the hurricane hit us on, I think, a Saturday. She shut down the entire state of South Carolina on a Wednesday. She closed school. She used the buses, the school buses, to evacuate people on the coast to get them to the upstate. Um, did a very good job. Uh, we just, we simply did not know. And the problem with hurricanes, like right now, Hurricane Irma is out in the ocean and they're saying that it could possibly hit, but they won't know for a good at least three to four more days what the hurricane is going to do. And you really don't know what the hurricane is going to do until it is about to hit. So uh, I think it's very important to be prepared, even though, you know, it could very easily go out to sea. We don't know. We could be dealing with this hurricane next weekend. Uh, but I think it's very important to kind of have things on hand to prepare yourself for the hurricane. So I wanted to show you guys a few things that I picked up at Dollar Tree today that you can make a very inexpensive hurricane prepared kit with. So um, obviously this is not everything that you will need to have in your kit. You'll need to have water, non-perishable food, things like that. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys just some things that I picked up today at Dollar Tree to put into a hurricane kit that we can have just in the house in case something does happen and we, we need it. Uh, just from what we experienced last year, not having power for a week. It was just absolutely, it was, it was, it was bad guys. We didn't have power, we didn't have water. It was real, real bad and we did not anticipate being without power or water for that amount of time and so there there was not any supplies to be found in Walmart, Dollar Tree, anywhere. Um, when we were finally able to get out and to go into town, the line at Hardee's was two hours long because they were the only place open. They were the, they were the only place that had food that was, was cooking, that they were cooking. They, they had power, they had food, nowhere else did. Um, it took days, days to get power back on in the city. Um, so I'm just going to go right into my little hurricane prepared haul. And so the first thing that I picked up um, were these candles. These are regular candles that you light. Uh, you can see here. Uh, four and a half hour emergency candles. 27 total hours. And I'll take this out and show it to you. They're just regular regular candles. Of course, you'll have to stick this in something to make sure it doesn't catch fire or anything. Um, so I picked these up. Pack of six. 27 hours. 
I also grabbed these, which are uh, LED candles. And they are, it says 100 total hours. No wax, uh, bright LED light, and they have little stands that come with them. Uh, and they are battery powered. So I picked this up, 100 hours, battery powered candles. This way you don't have the, uh, the risk of fire because your house can catch on fire with the regular candles. But I do like to have these as backup uh, because that way you don't have to depend on batteries with these. Picked up, I got two packs of the LED candles, the battery powered ones. I picked up these little flashlights. They are LED flashlights. Um, they're small. But they're very bright. They have three LED lights on them. Um, they did have bigger ones. I got the smaller ones because they will not use as much battery as the big flashlights use. Um, it is also very, it's it's a lot more cost effective to find uh, these use AAA batteries. It's a lot more cost efficient to find AAA batteries than to try and find D batteries or C batteries that only come, you know, a few in a pack and you have to keep replacing them. So I got two of those. Um, I got one big flashlight just to have it so that it's bright. Um, it is an LED, so it'll be really, really bright. Good little flashlight to have. Um, I went ahead and picked these up because I remember last year. I went, um, right before the hurricane was about to hit, I went to Dollar Tree to get flashlights, and they did not have any. Uh, it was right before Halloween, so they had the little pumpkin flashlights. I did get those, and they were helpful, but I wanted regular bright flashlights. Something you need to pay attention to, these, this, and this all use the exact same type of batteries. They all use AAA batteries. So I picked up two packs of AAA batteries. There's 10 in a pack. Um, obviously these are the Dollar Tree brand, so they are not, they're probably not gonna last as long as you know the name brand batteries. So I picked up two packs of them. Um, I think each one uses two or three batteries. So I'll be stocking up on these. Of course, you can always go and get the better brand batteries. These were just what they had, so I picked these up. Uh, but you need to pay attention to that. You need to pay attention to what you are buying and to what kind of batteries that they take because these were a dollar a piece and there's 10 in a pack versus, you know, the D batteries come four in a pack. So I it's going to be much easier if you buy everything that uses the same amount of batteries and the smaller the batteries the better because that way you can buy more and have them on hand versus having to pay a lot to have huge D batteries on hand. So pay attention, make sure you have the batteries as well as the flashlights. Oh, what else did I get? Oh, I got a box of matches. This is the last thing. A box of matches, um, this will help if you have a fireplace. Um, we have a wood burning fireplace, so it actual it burns actual firewood. It's not gas, so it will work if the electricity is off. The gas is off. Um, so have matches on hand. Funny story. I was buying these at Dollar Tree, and she the cashier rings them up and she looks at me. And she goes, "Are you under 18?" Yeah, I'm under 18, but kind of made my day though. I'm 27, but nice to still get asked if I'm under 18. Um, but so that is my hurricane prepared kit from Dollar Tree. Flashlight, candles, regular candles, bigger flashlight, matches, and batteries. Um, one thing I will say, last year when the hurricane hit, the only place I could find bottled water was Dollar Tree. Uh, they only sold them six in a pack, but they did have them. They did have bottled water. So, you know, pick up bottled water. Pick up things that you can eat that you don't have to cook. Um, if you 
you want down below, I will, um, I'm going to make a blog post about this. So my blog will be linked down below and I'll put a few extra things in that post, um, that I like to have on hand that are not necessarily things that you're going to hear about. They're kind of unconventional that I like to keep on hand. But so if you, um, if you want to check that out after the video, you can just click down in the description box. Um, I hope you liked this video. I hope it will help you um, if you are in a hurricane prone area. Um, if you are new, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. If you like these sorts of videos, please give me a thumbs up and leave me comments, questions below, feedback. If there's something that you would like for me to do a video on, um, please tell me, leave them in the comments. But so that is my hurricane prepared kit and make sure you check out my blog and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.